So hiya, this is the third vid for the first lesson. We're back to you because there's a lot of chatter and not much questions. I've done more chattering than I would do. It might get spread out over the time bit. So it tells you that tan B is minus 3. So how can you draw a triangle with that? Well, if you see minus 3 as being 3 over 1, now what's quite nice about this, the minus is telling you that it's obtuse. So that's all that minus is telling you, that it's obtuse. That's all. Don't worry about it. Just draw your triangle as normal. So there's B. So tan is opposite over hypotenuse. So if I do Pythagoras now, it'll be 3 squared plus 1 squared. So that'd be root 10. So that doesn't kind of do anything, does it? Right, so then it wants exact values. So it's obtuse, isn't it? So sine B is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that will serve up as 3 root 10 over 10. Sine is positive when it's obtuse. So that's fine. We're expecting a positive there. For tan B, is it tan? No, because it was. We're given tan B was a starting point. For cos B, it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So that serves up as root 10 over 10. But to show I've realised it's obtuse, I need to put a minus in front to show that it's obtuse. So that minus is to show that it's obtuse. Do it with the identities, don't we really want to? There we go. Um, God, that's really messy. I don't think I want to, to be honest. That's all right, five. Because you'd have to say that, so if tan b is minus three, then sine b over cos b is minus three. So sine b is minus 3 cos b. And if I look at sine squared b plus cos squared b is 1, I'd have to replace sine squared with that squared. God, that's really messy. Stick with the pictures. This is horrendous. Cos b squared. So I've got 9 plus 9, cos squared b, plus cos squared b is 1. So I've got 10, cos squared b is 1, cos squared b is a 10. Square root it, cos b, 1 over root 10, which is your root 10 over 10. And then make sure it's negative, because it's obtuse. So you know that cos b minus root 10 over 10. So I don't like this way at all. Drawing a picture is much nicer. I like to draw a picture. And then if I use the fact that sine b is minus 3 cos b, then sine b is minus... I've drawn that too fast there, haven't I? That's me rushing it because it's rubbish. Minus 3 cos b. Minus 3 times by minus root 10 over 10. So sine b is 3 root 10 over 10. Stick to the pictures, please. It's a hell of a lot easier. Right, there's one for you to have a go at. Which doesn't look anything like the block you have just done. Oh, for God's sake, what are you doing? <laughs> That's nothing like it. That's the question. Is nothing like what we just done? Oh my word! I couldn't reveal it. It's nothing like that. Oh, what is going on now? Right. So use cosine rule to work out the angle of theta. Um, that's for cos theta, isn't it? Oh yeah. That's interesting. It wants the exact value of cos theta. So the cos theta is, uh, is minus a third. And then the area of the triangle is a half AB sine C. And you make the triangle so they can work out what sine is. And then it's just half AB times by that fraction you get there. 
There's some consolid- consolidation there. I'm going to dump that. That's the end of this lesson because we've got loads of consolidation there. Bye-bye.